I remembered how I waited patiently as your friend to see if God can end your previous relationship so I can become your man. And yes, he did. Hi guys, it's your boy Fraud and I'm here with Choma. And Choma is my wife and we're a loving couple. Welcome to Post Fun Facts, the Valentine edition. Baby, what do you say? Let's go. Come along. Um, so I think we'll have to follow the ladies first procedure, you know, so... No, we start. No, ladies first. We we'll start first. Ladies first. Start first now. Ladies first, now let's not break protocol. Okay. So if we could relive one special moment from the beginning of our journey, which would it be and why? If we could relive one special moment from the beginning of our journey, which would it be and why? If we could relive a special moment, We've had lots of special moments, to be honest. But if we could relive one, yeah. I, I think it was when I took you on the boat cruise that you did not know was going to end up to me getting engaged to you. <laughs> What's the most irresistible thing about me that made you say I do? Mm. The most irresistible. Is it just one? Or I just have to list? What's the most? The most. I guess he's mm. talking about one. The way you love me. Aww. So if our love had a flavor, mm, what would you describe it? If our love had a flavor, if how would you, flavor, how would you describe it? Sorry. If our love had a flavor, um, I'll call it mixed fruits. If we had a couple nickname, uh -huh. what would you choose to call us? Okay. Uh -huh. Weirdos. The weirdos. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> so my wife said the weirdos. So what is one thing about me that never fails to make you smile, no matter the circumstance? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Everything, though. Well, you said one thing. One thing about you that makes that me... Never fails that never to fails make to make you smile, smile, no matter the circumstance. You should know. I mean, so for me, you're, you're, you're adorable. Mm. You know? You're annoyingly adorable. <laughs> 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 ah. I mean, you know when you love somebody, sometimes you don't really know how to explain what it is. But everything about the person, it's her persona. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way. Full it's, package. It's, yeah, it's a persona. And period. Do you have a song that you feel represents our journey and what makes it special for us? Do I have a song? Actually, I don't think because I'm not really a music person. So I just vibe to any song. So no music explain mm -hmm. our waka. <laughs> our waka, mm. any music come. Our waka is deep. Oh. Any music? Mm. I don't know. I don't think I have one. No, do you, no, do you no have music. anyone? It's not my question. Oh, that's my sorry. Mm. Music. Ah. Do you want to give it a try? Let me, well, let me think. Hold on. Music. Type. Well, I can, let me try I say maybe because I like the song Yes or No by Baki W. Would you be my lover? Yes. No. You know how so we started now? Yes no. <laughs> no, no, you know how we started. Yeah. Some people were still doing Shaka. It was so. the yes or no stuff. And, you know. Describe the outfit I was wearing on our first date. You didn't wear much now. If, you know, the first day depends on the one that you said considered. No, that one day. I. No, that it day you asked me out. It was out. a white. Uh, Wait, relax. Don't confuse it though. <laughs> okay. If it's the same one I know, you wore a pair of blue jeans and a white top. And I can still tell you where. But if you say it's not that one. The day you asked me out, go, go, go. That day. I, I asked you out the first time before you, you now went to really. Like, no, I mean like the official. No, you already asked me your out. Your own that, official one. Yeah, that official asked Where did out. we go to that day? Went so. to Prime Chinese. The first, we went to Prime Chinese, you wore that white and blue. Which other one again? White and blue. Was I wearing a pair of jeans? Or... It was so, a jean now. Yeah, oh, you mean, don't jean. worry. You feel, I was wearing a sky blue dress that had white polka dots, and you're putting on a black shirt and a black pants. Was it a two piece? Was it not up and down? No, it was just a dress. A dress? Yeah. You have to look for a picture. But do you agree that there was a white and blue jean, a blue jean one? Eh, no, that one was just normal, that casual outing. Not... <laughs> no, I mean the day you asked me, I said, let's go. You asked me out proper, Please, proper, because I'm a queen. <laughs> What's one adventurous experience you're looking forward to sharing with me in our marriage? One adventurous experience. Hmm. 
travel around the world. Is that it? Adventures. Yeah, it's like, you can say it's travel around the mm, world. Travel right? around the world. It works. And do skydiving with you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I actually want to skydive. You will skydive. <laughs> with, with I me. was still on the ground. You <laughs> skydive and come down. Please, I'm not skydiving. No. Yeah. But, ah. Uh, skydive, skydive what? So, Elena, we know I'm Elena. I'm with that stage. Can you recall the most thoughtful gesture I made that touched your heart? I always say it. I claimed I was broke. And my wife loaned me money. She didn't even loan me. She requested from my account number and credited me. And I was like, who does that? Tell them the price. I won't tell them. So they will not come and now be Okay, I don't have money. I don't have money. We just did so, this guys. Things we do for love. Don't mind, I paid that money back with interest. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, now. <laughs> you do, you not tell them. You uh, the interest is... They gave, they gave me money, but they did not collect the amount. Of. <laughs> <laughs> they collect block. What about our relationship makes you feel the most grateful? What about our relationship that makes me feel grateful? Mm. Our growth. Our growth. Yeah. Our growth. Like, we've been there. <laughs> we've gone we've there. <laughs> yeah, we've been growing every day. So what is one thing that you taught you would never tolerate before marriage like you tolerate now. So, oh. mm. <laughs> it's not that deep. Hey, law. <laughs> marriage is tolerance. You tolerate hey, law. <laughs> I don't go tell who never marry, but no. it's hey, law. But it's not that deep. Yeah? It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Just sprinkle of it's not that deep. Here. It's just a sprinkle of different personalities and different, you know. Marriage is a school. In marriage, you have to just learn to say, I'm sorry when you are not. Very doing, important. Uh, uh, you're always at so, fault. Uh, uh, you're always at fault. So that's the answer. Hey, what's read that your question? <laughs> that's the answer that, that you, you have to tolerate being the victim. <laughs> I say, ma! <laughs> Don't make it look like I'm troublesome. No, they are not troublesome. Peaceful. But you have to always be guilty and say, sorry. Nah. Anytime you upset them, you are always upsetting them. Sorry. Describe our first kiss. Describe our first kiss. Hmm. It was, uh, our first kiss was filled with so much emotion, like, and it was very nice. Like, ah, from the kiss. <clears throat> Something else happened, but like my husband is a very good kisser. And hey, <laughs> don't say my, I said my husband my kid. Well, if you want, come and try. We'll do a laugh for you. <laughs> so like it was so good, like very, 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 very good. So that's just it. In what two ways has our love challenged you to be, become a better person? So for me, I, I don't know if I'll call it a challenge. I think I'll call it a decision because um, the very moment you came into my life and I decided that you were going to be my partner for life and I, I made the wish and will to love and to respect you, it kind of became my, you know, um, should I say, modus operandi to keep being a good man, keep hustling, keep being real, keep providing, keep caring, keep loving. You already know me. Mm -hmm. Hi, <laughs> if you could have one wish about our future come through, what would you want it to be? If I had, if you had a wish about our, about our future wish, you know, and it was going to come true, what would you wish for? Hmm. What else? If I had a wish, I have the answer in my head for you. I don't don't know answer for me, so or you know, you used to think too deep. Allow me to shallow think my own. Oh yeah, shallow yeah. think. What I want to have. Okay. Nothing, I'll just have a, a beautiful home now. Like, a peaceful, with, loving, peaceful and, yeah, yes, loving, well, home. wealthy home. Yeah, dollars. Comfortable it home. Don't. It's no, my question, don't answer for me. Which one is dollar? Pounds. It's, okay, pounds, like, you know, to be very happy, do trips, you know, whatever we want, to so just get it. That'd and, be fulfilled home. Uh, hey, and God, too. Yeah, Christ, the head of our home. Then we appointed me. <laughs> and then I'm your neck. Assistant. <laughs> so, um, what is one weird or hilarious habit of mine 
that secretly that you secretly find endearing. This endearing. She loves it, Abby, that she likes. Yeah. I can't say it. Yeah. yeah, you can't say it. <laughs> yeah, I can't say it. My wife cannot say it. <laughs> it's something that is it's very weird. She can't, she can't say it. <laughs> it's very weird and very sweet it's, it's, for it's me. Our, it's our own... Uh... Our fantasy. No, my fantasy. <laughs> Alright, so it is not totally over. Ah. Wow. Right? So as you know, it is Valentine's season and it's all about love and expressing your feelings. Yeah. So Fraud and Shoma, we will give you both a pen and a paper. And you will write a love letter to each other. Hmm. And we want you guys to share your deepest yeah, feelings for each other <laughs> and appreciate each other. Ah, you know, I talk about your, your love and your union. So when you are done, you will read the letter out to each other. Bye, are you ready? All this thing that we said there. Uh, All this is not enough to show that we love ourselves. <laughs> no? My baby boo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The matter of the heart, not maybe read that bag. Yeah. Okay, so loving you gladdens my soul, and I don't think I can ever stop feeling butterflies in my tummy, regardless of how much you upset me. You've made marriage very easy for me, accepting me for who I am and my flaws. Your consistency with work, constant reassurance, and how you solve issues calmly is a huge turn on for me. So, my love for you can actually not be quantified. Thanks for loving me and my weird fantasy. Cheers to you for being the best. Cheers for being a friend, my sugar daddy, and the sweetest husband. Why is it? You're on the top, please. I tried. And a pin. <laughs> Calm down. Ah. So it's my turn, yeah? So, um, <clears throat> it means in your heart. New love is in there. Isn't there about this one that you wrote full page like this now? My, uh, I read. Dear wifey, I definitely married right when I started this journey with you. Mm. I remembered how I waited patiently as your friend to see if God can end your previous relationship so I can become your man. And yes, he did. I appreciate all your sacrifices decisions and personal amendments to our daily life and marriage. I know we are young and we're not 100 percent you know ready and aware but we have been grinding like the real Bonnie and Clyde. Thank you for keeping me focused and calm. Thank you for a beautiful womb that births our pretty babies. Thank you for constant prayers. Thank you for a bright, loving, and peaceful home. Thank you for what it is that you bring to the future. I will always love, protect, provide, and cherish you for eternity. Uh -huh. I love you, my love. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Are you guys? You guys need to shoot. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Paul Small Facts Valentine Edition. We hope you had fun. We hope you really, really had fun. Thank you for sharing our love. Keep it locked in with Paul Small Facts. Peace out.